it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair? And welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing a brand new unit, just came out last week by Sensational. And this wig is called Aza. Aza, Aza. I think it's Aza. So when I saw wig types post up on Instagram, this right here, you see this? <laughs> I was like, oh bitch, I gotta get that. But it's like I couldn't get that color. I probably moved a little bit too slow because it was already sold out by the time I got on the site. However, there was a color called Blush Denim that was available and I was like, hmm, that's new. Blush Denim. I like blush. I like denim. Put it together! So I was like, I'm gonna take a chance on it and see how it looks. So I have it in the Blush Denim color and this also comes with a an array of colors, actually. The blush denim is right down here, but they also have all these really cute colors. I would love to see what Mermaid Galaxy looks like. Originally, this wig does come braided up in like a ponytail and then the bottom is out. So if you wanna see me style this wig, stay tuned. <laughs> You guys have seen how I styled Aza. I shifted her to the side because my foundation is different this time around and I didn't take it into account that I love middle parts. So there's a braid over here. I didn't like it. So I shifted it to the side and I like it to the side. Now let's start with the pros of Aza. The primary pro is absolutely the coloring. The coloring on this wig is just impeccable honestly so this blush denim color i'm gonna try to like move in closer it's like it's like a mix of like cotton candy pink baby blue lavender purple all mixed into one gorgeous gradient like oh my gosh this is like beautiful beautiful unicorn colored hair sensational i cannot commend you enough on how you colored this hair and it has dark roots and it's dark root throughout the entire unit yo dark roots throughout the entire unit let me show you dark roots dark roots dark roots like everywhere so the coloring job is 10 out of 10. also the way that the dark root transitions into this unicorn color look at that look how natural that looks there's no harsh lines blended oh i love a good coloring job y'all already know how i feel about color so when i was running my fingers through this after i straightened it and saw the gradient i mean look at this look at this gorgeous color sorry okay i'm done yelling <laughs> sorry so that is the first pro Second pro about this unit would be the parting space slash hairline. So even though it's not a 13 by four, 13 by six frontal, they still are trying to be generous with the parting space. Here, it's a very natural parting space. I didn't pluck anything. And even though I didn't blend anything here, so don't judge me. They kind of have, it's like not a straight track there. So it's like, okay, if the wind blows, they want you to, you know, hit them with a little something. So I appreciate Sensational for trying to make the parting as natural as they could for this type of wig. Those are two main pros, the color and the hairline. Now y'all, I'm gonna get to the cons. As much as I love this color, like absolutely adore this color. Oh my God, look at it again, look at it again. Look at this, look at this peekaboo blue! Peekaboo blue! Even though I absolutely love the color, you guys, 
I just can't get with the texture and the tangling. So this is a silky textured wig to the T. And when I say silky, it's like, <laughs> it's giving me cosplay vibes, to be honest. If you know me and hair, I don't know if I've said this before on my channel, but I do not like silky straight synthetic wigs. Don't like them at all. So when I took this out the pack and I saw that it was the texture it was, I was so upset. I was like, come on, not leaving my mouth just a little bit of a yackiness. None sensational. I get that they're trying to do this like sleek look with the colors. It's like a festival vibe, but I would have, uh, I would have loved if this came in a yakier texture. That would have ch totally changed the game for me. Because with silky synthetic wigs, that yields tangling. And not just your average synthetic wig tangling, it yields a lot of tangling. Taking this out the pack, and before I even unbraided the braid, it was tangling up on me. This right here is me brushing it, I don't know how many times. I definitely get what Sensational is going for because it's summertime and they wanna come up with all these festive colors to go out, to go to concerts and go to the beach parties and pool parties and other festivals. But you're, if you're at a festival, like if you're going to Afropunk or Made in America, trust me, you're gonna have your fingers in your hair all freaking day. Like you'll definitely need a comb or brush on deck for hair like this, especially with the length. This hair comes down way past my boobs, definitely at my waist, so it's at least 24 inches. So it's a lot of hair, it's a lot of length. I, I just, I hate the amount of tangling I'm getting because it's a silky unit. If this were yakier, this would be a lot more, I would be able to withstand it a lot more. So, even though the coloring is great, I just, I wouldn't buy this wig again because I just can't rock with the texture. Now, there are some of you that really like silky texture wigs and don't mind it on a synthetic wig. So if you do, then I'm sure you'll be able to appreciate the things I appreciate about this wig, like the coloring job and the length. However, if you are like me, I wouldn't recommend you buy this. This color though, this is oh, sensational. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta figure this out. Like, I don't know. I might cut this into a bob just so I can still wear it and not be so freaking annoyed and have my hands in it all day. Like you guys, this color, peekaboo. It's just, it's so cute. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this wig. Let me know if you agree with me or if you disagree. Do you like silky texture wigs? Do you prefer yaki? Let me know. Also, I will be starting Subscriber Saturday soon where I'll be taking wig requests and posting a video on Saturdays. That'll probably start in June. So if there's any wigs that you wanna see, you can start sending me requests. This wig was a little disappointing, you guys. I want to love it. I really want to love this wig. I really do, but I can't get past the texture. I, I don't want to be a cosplay babe in this wig. Let me know your thoughts and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.